ABC 7 I team on that first public defense of George Papadopoulos, Donald Trump's foreign policy advisor from Chicago. Papadopoulos is the first figure in the Russia investigation to plead guilty and cooperate with federal prosecutors. His fiance is now talking tonight. Eyewitness News investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy here now with more details. Chuck. Judy, Simona Mangienti is an Italian attorney and engaged to marry George Papadopoulos. Tonight, she's going to bat for her fiancé, hitting back against White House claims that Papadopoulos was a nobody on the campaign, as the White House and President Trump have said. What he can't say, because he will be a federal witness against those likely to be charged next, she is now saying. He set up meetings with uh, leaders all over the world. He was constantly in touch with the high level official of the campaign, and he never took any initiative, as far as I know, unauthorized. Her fiance, George Papadopoulos, grew up in the Chicago area, is a DePaul graduate, and was not, as the White House has said, a mere coffee boy for the campaign. I. I don't. I mean, I, I think uh, he tried to dismiss. George is a coffee boy, so I'm sure he will not be happy uh, to, to read that uh, there are consistent evidences that he was not a coffee boy. Even President Trump downplayed Papadopoulos when the news broke in October that he was pleading guilty to lying to the FBI about his role in connecting the campaign with the Kremlin. Mr. Trump tweeting that he was a low-level volunteer. Mangienti says that isn't true, and cooperating with the federal investigation proves he is a patriot. He's already on the right side of history. I think it will make a big difference. A big difference? Yes. In what way? Helping, uh, clarifying all that happened. His contribution will be very important. Both of their social media pages are adorned with pictures of each other and the couple together, although Papadopoulos' Twitter photo of them both has now been replaced by a more statesmanlike solo shot. And she says he is writing a book. From what you know about his story, what, what, what do you think the title of the, that story is? Uh, the one to spoil is... Uh Premier, <laughs> but I think he has been sort of the first uh, domino in the Russian gate. Expect some chapters in that book to deal with his interrogation by the FBI and hers. Papadopoulos questioned by federal agents in Chicago last January, the beginning of a relationship that continues to this day. And she was questioned in October by the FBI in Chicago, the same day her fiancé's guilty plea was made public. By any measure, they are a power couple. A lot of chapters here, Chuck, to go. That's true. All right, thanks.